I'm Marcus Whitman. Today is Friday, May 14th, 2021. It is a B-Day. I'm Fletcher Dickman, and here are your morning announcements. First, let's start off with an exciting announcement from Ms. Taft. Good morning, Marcus Whitman. It's so wonderful to have a full house here in our building now. I'm so proud of all that you have done personally, academically, through schooling, music, drama, activities, club, and athletics. And I'm so looking forward to the rest of the year, and when we come back from Memorial Day, we're going to have Spirit Week, followed by our traditional field day, who wants dogs? But today I want to focus on some building health and safety concerns beyond what we've been doing all year with COVID. First, I want to share with you our concerns with safety in and around the building around with see something, say something. When you see something, such as something that's illegal, dangerous, somebody hurting someone, a stranger in the building, somebody putting others down, breaking the code of conduct, or if you or your friend are under mental duress, stop, think, and let's get somebody involved. Call an adult, Officer Lambert, or our 1-800 Safe Schools line. We are here from you, for you. We want to address issues now before they become bigger concerns. Together, we should be able to take care of one another to keep each other safe mentally and physically till the end of the year. Next. Over the past year, few years, we've been talking about be smart, make smart choices, be smart, don't start. And most of the time that's applying to the things that we're doing outside of the building, the choices that we're making at night and on the weekend. But right now I want to focus on what is happening in our building. There has been a great uptick, uptick in the vape usage around the building. This is not the time or the place to be doing this and it's unacceptable here at school. If you need reasons why, here are a few. First of all, it's illegal for your age to possess, have, share, whatever is with them for you to have in the school or at all. Secondly, it's against the code of conduct. Third, and probably the most important, is how it affects you in your growing youth and the developments of your body with your nicotine receptors in your lungs and what may be happening now and in the future. And lastly is, every time somebody that walks in and notices this with you and is uncomfortable by that is unacceptable. Nobody should be uncomfortable in our schools because of the actions of others. The other part of this that concerns me is what's in these that you are vaping with. The levels of nicotine that I've seen in the pods that I've collected, the fact that there could be THC, and lastly, we are in a health pandemic. Why are we sharing mouthpieces? Let's take that into consideration as well. So as we move forward with this, Please think of pride. Let's make productive use of our time here at school, making it safe for everyone, being respectful to all the adults here, all of the adults, custodian, kitchen staff, aides, TAs, teachers, clerks, secretaries. They're all here to make this place a better place and together we can do that. Have integrity, quit sneaking around, just do the right thing and be, term be determined to do the right thing so that we can reach excellence in our school and out because those of you that are part of extracurricular activities and athletics have signed codes that say that you're not doing this. And we would never want to make Marcus Whitman look bad or represent us wrong because people have to lose out on the opportunities to participate in these things because of their actions here at school. As we move forward, please take that into consideration. Lastly, let's be humble and kind with one another. Truly, take a minute to think and listen to that song. A little please and thank you here and there, holding the door for someone, listening to your grandparents, can't hurt you, and listening to your parents as well. I hope you have a great rest of the year, and I'm thinking of all of you, and let's have some fun. Have a good day, Marcus Whitman. And now, back to Fletcher. Thank you, Ms. Taft. Now, let's take a look at the weather with Earth Network's online weather center. Today, it will be mostly sunny, highs around 60. Summer driver education sign-offs have begun. The course will run from July 1st to August 5th, and the cost will be $75. It will be taught in person. You must be 16 years old and have a valid driver's permit. You can print out a registration form off of Schoology or pick one up outside room 511. If you have any questions, see Mr. Prusinowski. Class of 2023, check Schoology and sign up to help at the Chicken Barbecue on Tuesday, May 18th from 2.30 to 6.30 p.m. Six to eight people are needed per shift to help serve food. See Mrs. Ayers or Ms. Mitchell with any questions. Also, there will be a meeting for any sophomores interested in planning for junior prom on Thursday, May 20th during 10th period in room 410. Again, see Mrs. Ayers or Ms. Mitchell with any questions.
Today and over the weekend, New York FFA will be recognizing our Empire Degree recipients. To earn your Empire Degree, members must hold a leadership role in their chapter, invest hours outside of school in their SAE, and complete community service. This is the highest recognition you can receive in New York FFA. Congratulations to the following seniors on receiving their Empire Degree, Ava Gladel, Emily King, Amy Smithling, and Michaela Selvig. Attention seniors, if any of you plan to go into the field of teaching, please see Mr. Sullivan for an exciting scholarship opportunity. Junior Hannah Rhinus is on a mission to give back to the Galasano Children's Hospital and support those that struggle with eating disorders. To help Hannah accomplish this goal, we will be collecting donations beginning Monday, May 17th through the end of the month so that she can make care baskets. If you wish to donate, you may drop off gifts in the high school counseling office. Here are some things that Hannah would like to include in the baskets. Journals slash notebooks, coloring books, gel pens, colored pencils, crayons, markers, fidget toys, fuzzy socks, puzzles, crosswords, word searches, and stickers. Here are this week's birthdays. Today, Friday the 14th, junior Cameron Gladys, and on Sunday the 16th, sophomore Christian Borshing and Mrs. Beatrice. Happy birthday. Now, here's a look at the remainder of this week's events. That's it for today, Whitman. This has been Fletcher Dickman with your WCAT News. Have a great day.